Hey guys, welcome to the video series on GCP for data engineers. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Today we're going to talk about the partitioning and clustering concepts in BigQuery. So without further ado, let's start. Uh, first, we'll start with partitioning. So partitioning, table partitioning in BigQuery or in any uh, data application is a method of breaking down a large table into small uh, partitions or small tables. So you can look into the picture. So there was a big, uh, like on the left side, there is a big table which have some dummy data about release day, uh, about movies, which have release data, release date, movie name, a genre for it. And after that, these are divided into three different uh, uh, partitions uh, based on the release date where uh, now it's divided into three small uh, tables or you can say three small partitions and theoretically or not theoretically so these different partitions are stored separately at the physical level so they are accessed and managed independently and the key uh, in the column on which the table is partitioned is called partition key so in this image the release date is the partition key and why we do partitioning basically in the first place the partitioning like uh, make our query more uh, fast like it, it it increase it decrease the time to query something so imagine like if we have to query uh, 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 like a, a query a record from this large table so then uh, for any for any record like it like uh, the uh, engine has to iterate over the whole table while if it is partitions and in our where clause we have a, a condition okay where uh, partition is uh, sorry for example where the release date is like 17th April 2022 so in that case like the BigQuery will only um, look for look for the data in this partition it won't even bother to check the other partitions so that's how like uh, the query performance will improve and uh, uh, in BigQuery, there are like three ways to create partitions. Uh, now I'm going to talk about in theory, but then like we'll do a demo and see all three ways. So, uh, so there are three ways to create a partition. The first one is the ingestion time. So these are the partitions uh, created on the table based on the arrival date or arrival. It could be date, hour, month, or uh, year depending on like how we set up our ingestion time partition or in simple words we can say bigquery loads the data into a particular partition for each day or hours or month or year as i was mentioned even but so it's basically bigquery loads the data into a partition based uh, based on the day for instance for a day so ingestion time includes like two pseudo columns uh, name partition time underscore partition time and underscore partition day they are not these columns are not part of the table schema definition but they we can use them to query uh, the data to access the data okay uh, the second method is based on the date so if we have a date column in our tables we can partition uh, the table uh, based on that so for example if we look into the picture the release date is the uh, is the like a is 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 the field on which partition can be done okay and the third is based on an integer so when we um, uh, when we partition on an integer like we can provide like start date end date and a range for it so for example like think it as a bin so like you can have age as a field and you can partition your data based on age so like a start date could be 10 and date could be 100 and the range will be or you can say, yeah, the bin will be like 10. So then you will have like 10 partitions from 10 to 100. In, in, in both like a date and integers, there can be instances where like partition column can have null value. So for some rows, right? So in those cases, uh, those rows are going to store in a separate partition uh, called null partition, underscore null partition. And in a similar way, if something is... Uh, is out of range so for example if we have a date of uh, uh, like if like 999 something like that like which we like it's a, a default date so that is like out of the range date so those partitions fall into unpartitioned uh, like underscore underscore unpartition partition okay same like if we look into age example and uh, for some reason like let's say 
uh, one record have null so that will go into the null partition and if one record have like somebody's age 200 which is like out of our integer range that will go into unpartition uh, partition uh, for, for it so let's do the demo very quickly so we understand these things pretty well so now we are in the bigquery ui and uh, we already have our data set created now we will create a table and show you when we are creating a table how we can add partition to it so we will upload a data okay browser file so in this names.txt it's a like it's a .txt it's a csv file let me show you this very quickly like what's in this data so it will be easy for you so if you look at this it's the name field is there then what gender it is and the number of count basically it's telling like uh, uh, how many people we have this uh, I got it from some public data sets where like for each name how many people we get and what gender it's belong to basically that is it so it's a simple data set uh, no, sorry so we uploading it it's a text file so it's a CSV after that we naming it like names uh, we can give it like ingestion partition okay and let's add the schema so we know like the first field is the name and it is required so we can't have like two names uh, it's kind of primary key like we can't have two names uh, uh, in two different rows then the second field was uh, uh, gender so that's also a string it could be null level and the last field is the count count which is like now how many people with that name are uh, uh, yeah so the count of number of people with that name so that's an integer okay now now we come to partition and cluster setting cluster we will look in a while but like for, for now we will focus on partition so just you need to click on drop down and you see partition by ingestion time this was the first way we were talking about so there were three ways partition by ingestion time based on a date or based on an integer column so we can see the integer column is already here but let's just for demo purposes if we delete this and we do drop down so now because all the fields in the schema are string so you don't see that but partition by ingestion time is still there so partition and ingestion time is going to be there but if you need date or integer we need to add them and uh, if you're coming from like from other like if you have seen other like hive partition and all those there we can do even like a uh, partition over like for example uh, like department which is a string and all those kind of things so in bigquery there is a limitation so like only by ingestion time by a date field or by an integer field okay let me add the integer back just so count because it's part of the our data so I'm adding it back but we are partitioning it by ingestion time okay and after this this is this was the thing I was mentioning is like it, it is the time BigQuery loads the data into that particular partition which could be a day hour month year and depending on your requirement like if um, your data is spread over years of data then you can have year month depending on like your requirements uh, early data could be something let's say you have two months of data it's coming uh, and you when I say two months of data like in general you have only two months of data and in that like you want to create partitions because just imagine like if you have seven years of data and you partition by hours there will be so many partitions and which eventually kill the purpose of partitioning which is to uh, improve our query performance okay so here we will do by day and this is a, like another thing uh, so partitioning filter so this is a an option where if we check this I'm not going to do this but I'm just telling you like if you check this so anybody who is querying this table they need to have a where clause on the partition filter if they don't it like it they will it will give it get an error okay hope it makes sense now we create the table okay now you can see name ingestion partition is create 
created and you can see like it's it's divided let me create something to show you unpartitioned table so let's upload the same table select the file name csv and we name it like names and no partition on this so let's add the schema the schema will be name uh, gender so it's the same data set this time i'm loading without partition just to show you something uh, which could be helpful okay create table so we haven't added any partition or anything into it and this is created and if you look at this so the the, the difference between the the symbol in front of a partition table and in a regular table so this table doesn't have partition this table have partitions so if we go into details of it like if we go into details so it, it like everything remains same but you will find like some more like partition by what what is it partition on what kind of field is this and as i was mentioning like when we partition by ingestion time it includes two pseudo columns to it and they're not part of the uh, schema so what that means like this column was never part of our schema our schema was like name count gender that's it but it is not there but uh, if we query this let me very quickly grab it this is the one second copy i'll show you new compose paste it and let me because the name is different here so we have ingestion partition partition okay cool uh it's name not names so let me do this okay and you like you're aware like we haven't added these two fields to it but this is added because of the ingestion time so if i run this oh sorry it will give an error because the s was missing let's read on this run awesome so you see the time like row is there this field is there this field like because we give the aliases and whenever you querying partition time and partition data these pseudo fields you need to give the aliases otherwise you will get an error so you can see the names and the partition date and partition time basically it's the timestamp which have the date and time both in utc and here uh, partition date have just date okay now very quickly just close this and close this too now let's create another table to show you how we can have a date field in it uh, which is very simple again upload browse so this is the same data set it's just have like another field date in it uh, let me very quickly show you before so if i expand this you can see this it have like date in it and one field is null this is what i was mentioning in the there will be instances where the partition column can have null values in those cases it will go into a null partition okay that you won't get any error or something so let's go here we do it csv name it like let's say name it's names two okay we add the schema same name required then we add uh, gender then we add count integer then we count add uh, date sorry which is date type and we go here and in your drop down you will see both fields like count and because it's an integer it's a date so we're going to do with the date but like i want to show you if you pick count then you have to like uh tell uh, like a starting point what's the end point and what's the inter interval that date range so this is basically what the age example i was giving okay start could be 10 and could be 100 i'm just making some random numbers and interval could be 10 again so in this case you will have like a nine or ten 
partitions okay but we are doing with the date so let's do with date and in date like you just tell okay it's by day we create it so now we have another table and you can see the symbol of the table is like it's partitioned by okay uh, we can look into the details and all those they will be pretty similar like partition information like what field it's partition by what partition by what's the on field and partition filter is not required this is the if we check that partition filter it will be required and whenever you querying you need a where clause there okay and if you preview the data so there will be like three partitions in it one will have this data other one will have these two and one will have like null partition okay now let's jump back to clustering uh, so clustering clustering is another way of organizing data which store like one next to other all those rows that share similar values in a chosen clustering columns in simple words like we can say clustering organized data based on the contents of a specified column in the schema into optimal size uh, storage blocks and which uh, which improves the performance of certain types of queries uh, so if you like if you're coming from a hive background like it is pretty similar to the bucketing concept of hive and as we can observe from the pictures like so employee details is like a table then we partition it on let's say date some date and it create further partitions and in clusters and in, in partitions we can have clusters and which will have a similar kind of data. So, so uh, for example, in employees, let's say department could be, uh, it could be something on which we can cluster, and um, and in like a, in that way, like a, you you optimize your query. And this is like a, it's not like a clustering is good. Like a, is a, we always have to do clustering and partitioning together. So partitioning in general is good enough, but uh, there will be situations, there will be instances when we should use clustering. So for example, if you need more uh, granularity than partitions allow, then we do clustering. And uh, if if we, like if our queries are commonly use certain filters on some uh, fields or aggregations against multiple columns, in those cases also uh, we, we do clustering. And uh, the last is like cardinality of the number of values in a column or a group co group of column is higher. In those cases, also we do the clustering. Okay, so uh, hope like clustering makes sense. So uh, basically, a table can be partitioned um, like is divided into further smaller partitions, and those partitions uh, we will have like in those partitions we will have like buckets which will have similar data so imagine like employee data is partitioned by date and then in these clusters we uh, we, we clustering based on let's say salary salary is a good example so anybody between uh, let's say uh, 10,000 20,000 30,000 50,000 dollars will fall in cluster one and uh, 5,000 and more than 50,000 will fall in cluster two so similar data will be there it's not like it will have uh, so in that way when you are querying something which is like let's say between 10 to 15,000 it will uh, query this bucket and the basic uh, like a uh, advantage of having clustering and partitioning is to improve the your query performance and as I was mentioning like like whenever our qu queries like commonly use certain filters like for example like where salary is something or a department or something which is not a partition field like other than partition field in those cases we can uh, think about clustering okay okay let's very quickly do the demo of clustering which is very simple so we'll create another name data create table I'm using the same data just to show you CSV names three we add it okay name it's a required field 
then we add the gender so we don't change anything and count which is integer mode we don't need anything and we are partitioning on ingestion time and uh, by day we if you want we can put this and in clustering we use gender so we can do cluster for more than one column so limit is like we can have four columns on which we can do clustering okay and clustering can be done on both like partition and non partition previously it was just for partition tables but now it's available on both let's create okay if we go to this so it's a partition table look into the details so now you will have one another so like how it is clustered so this is like in the details you can see that okay the partition column is partition is on partition time which i mentioned like for ingestion time this is the pseudo column which is not part of our schema when we added and partition filter i added to required we didn't put anything on it partition expiration and it's clustered by gender so any query which have like a way clause with genders will be very fast here compared to like a, a regular query okay so that's all for this video uh, thanks for watching it and stay tuned for the upcoming videos have a good one